today we're going to answer the question, does gain affect sound quality? Now, if you haven't yet, I'd encourage you to go watch my video called How to Set Gain in Preamps because it'll really go in depth on the subject of gain and teach you how the signal flow works and why gain is really important in that flow. But if you want a short, easy answer now, I'll just give it to you. The answer is absolutely yes. Gain does affect sound quality, and here's why. In order to process and capture audio in a digital format, the analog signal has to be converted at some point into a digital one. And if you've ever heard the terms sample rate and bit depth, these are terms that are involved in that conversion process. But without getting into the complexity and the black hole of sample rate and bit depth, the key to understand is that when we talk about gain, we're actually really at the heart of it talking about signal quality and resolution, the resolution of what we end up hearing in the end. When you're looking at the meter on your console, a good way to think about this is from the very bottom of the meter to the top of the meter, that space represents the full 24-bit conversion capacity of your preamp. So here's where it actually kind of starts to make sense. When you have your signal gained at a really low input volume, think of that scale, again, as a resolution scale. If it's really low on that scale, your audio is going to be processed in really low resolution. However, when you take that gain knob and you gain it up, you're adding voltage to that signal and you're taking advantage of the full 24 bits of resolution in that preamp. The further you gain it up, the more resolution your signal is going to have. So let's circle back to the original question. Does gain affect sound quality? And the answer is yes, absolutely. When you gain a signal up, you're increasing the resolution of that signal, which in turn increases the sound quality that you're going to be hearing once that sound leaves the console. Now, like I said, this is a really simplistic way of thinking about this, but hopefully it helps you understand why gain structure is so important, not just in in the signal flow, but also in the quality of what you end up hearing once that signal leaves the console and goes to the PA. It's a really fundamental step in making sure what you're hearing out of the speakers is going to be as high quality and high resolution as you can possibly get. So hopefully this made sense to you. Hope it was helpful. If you're new to this channel and you're trying to learn the basics of mixing audio, I have a free gift for you on my website called the seven step mix. And this guide will walk you through the seven steps that I take in every single mix that I do. It'll give you a great systematic process to follow to get consistent positive results for the work that you put in in your mixing projects. And if that sounds like it'd be helpful for you, go check it out completely for free to you on my website, themixingprocess.com. Also, as always, if you have any questions for me, you can uh, write them in the comments below or you can actually go contact me directly from my website um, and start a conversation with me. I'd love to talk with you about the different challenges that you're having in your mixing process and help you out with those. But until then, go be good at what you do. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it was helpful for you. We will see you next time.